is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Guardians in a Galaxy issue 2. But before I start talking about this issue, let's talk about what reviews I've read for Dark Avenger Inc. this week. Uh, so I have three reviews on Dark Avenger Inc. that I usually do on Comic Uno, which are New Avengers issue 5, Tastic 4 issue 7, and Wolverine and X-Men issue 28. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go in the description below and you go check those out. But let's talk about Guardians of the Galaxy issue 2. Um, cover is really cool. Um, the concept's like whatever, you know, this doesn't, I mean this does happen, but it's not a main focus. Uh, it's kind of a little generic, but I really like the art for this series. Um, I like, it's kind of darker art, a little gritty, and um, I do like that about this series. I think the cover does show that. So even though the concept's a little generic, I do like the cover. But let's see if I like the story. Um, in this issue we get to see two stories going on. One is that these aliens are attacking London and the Guardians of the Galaxy are trying to defeat them and they don't know exactly how because all communications are down Iron Man can't get the vendors not even the power pack so they have to try to defeat these aliens now the second story that's going on is in the negative zone and these big rulers of space want to destroy our earth because they think their earth could be at an advantage and they could join this whole Guardians of the Galaxy um, not Guardians of the Galaxy but this whole I guess UN United Nations of the Galaxy um, network. So they're like, oh, well, we should destroy Earth. But the, this woman says, no, we can't destroy Earth. And they're like, all right, we won't destroy Earth. So, um, yeah, that's what happens. This queen says, don't destroy Earth. We can't do it. And they end up not destroying Earth. And that's pretty much it in this whole issue. Um, I thought this issue was okay. I think it's getting really space. It, I mean, the one thing I liked about first, the first issue in issue zero is that it was grounded for a, a galaxy space cosmo story. And I like that it was grounded, that you could be really interested with these characters as a new reader. Um, with this issue I felt, um, it was a little bit draggy. Um, the dialogue was very lengthy, which Bendis tends to do. Sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it just gets like, alright, we get the point. Um, and I think with this issue you do have times where it's like, oh, I really have to read all of that. You know, it's, and it's times where it's not really interesting information. It's just like, oh, this is what we want to do, we're the council, we want to destroy Earth. And it wasn't interesting, it was just kind of boring, and we get to see those long pages of dialogue. Um, a lot in this issue, actually. I mean, there's when we see the Guardians of the Galaxy is interesting. Even though nothing really happens with them. It's like, oh, we're fighting aliens, and that's it. Um, so that was, you know, for a new series that a lot of people don't know of, I think you should have gotten more into the characters, um, less with the fighting with aliens right now, and more, again, more with the characters, and less with this whole Cosmo um, story with the whole, I guess, again, the UN type of Cosmo thing uh, so that want to attack earth so uh, i like the story that they want to attack earth and they're, they're getting earth into the story but again i think we should learn more about these characters get more attached before we get these big humongous stories um with the cosmo stories because that's what really tends to make me go push back from these stories is that it's too big and uh it's too much about space and I, of course guarding the galaxy you're gonna get a lot of space stories but i want it to be grounded at the same time and i think with nova you get that and um with guardians of the galaxy first two issues got a really grounded story about space and that's why i liked about it and i really hope they continue with that but with this issue is kind of on the draggy side, honestly, not a lot got accomplished, it, just a lot of dialogue, and it wasn't interesting. Um, again, it wasn't horrible, it's just something I, I wanted more from the series, because I, I think the first two issues, including issue zero, was better. So I'm going to give this three stars. Um, I'm going to say don't pick this issue up. I'm going to stick with the series a little longer. I want to see where Guardians of the Galaxy goes, but I think, again, this makes me tend to go push back from the Cosmos stuff because I'm not totally interested in it. But I really hope that um, they they do ground the series and make a lot of people interested with this with this series. Um, and maybe just more interesting, honestly, um, to, to make us stick with this series. So we'll see. Um, I gave it three stars, though. I say don't pick this issue up. I'm going to stick with the series for a little longer, but we'll see what happens. So uh, don't pick this issue up, but I hope you guys enjoy this comic Uno. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.